It happens all the time. I'm either sleeping, relaxing, or doing this voiceover, and someone rings the doorbell. It makes the dogs go crazy and drives me nuts. It's time to do something about it. The idea came to me when I was playing with this old RC car, the wireless transmitter and receiver. So it's time to take them apart and put them to work in this project. The handheld control, or transmitter, came apart with a couple of screws and left me with the main circuit board that we'll be using. This has a bunch of small momentary switches that control forward, backward, left and right for this little RC car. Now we need to get to the receiver which is located inside the body of the car. A couple of small screws and the body came off. Couple more, and we got to the circuit board in the receiving end of this RC car. I like to salvage everything I can when I repurpose something, and in this case, we got a couple of small motors that we might be able to use down the road for another project. Both motors have this small wire with a connector on the end, which we are going to use, so I'm gonna unsolder that from the motor and hang on to it. Okay, I pulled my doorbell off the wall, leaving the wires that come from the doorbell and the transformer. These doorbells are pretty simple. When triggered, they have a couple of hammers that bang on these metal bars that make the tone. Now, all we're going to need for the transmitter is a small switch and a battery pack. For the receiving end, we need a 9-volt battery clip, an LED, and a small relay. After wiring everything together, I flip the switch on the transmitter, the relay kicks in, and our red LED lights up. Before I installed the receiver, I used some hot glue to mount the relay to the back of the circuit board. And speaking of hot glue, I put a big drop of it on the back side of the doorbell cover and put the LED in place. The receiver is mounted to the doorbell control, and everything's ready to be wired up. For the transmitter, I'm going to use one of my blank metal tins. The circuit board and battery fit inside snugly and I drilled a hole for the antenna and another hole for the power switch. The doorbell is mounted. Now, when I flip the switch to my transmitter, the relay breaks the contact going to the doorbell and the doorbell will not ring. Finally, peace and quiet. And that's how to silence your doorbell. Before I go, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about my friends at Harry's. Now you might not know these guys, but they are revolutionizing the shaving industry by focusing on providing guys a great shaving experience for a fraction of the price of those big razor companies. Their razors have a really slick and clean design with high quality, sharp blades engineered by their own German factory. And the best part, they're half the price of their competitors like Gillette. Now I tried them and they are great. You order them online and they're shipped to your door. Harry's is offering my fans $5 off your first purchase, so support my show and head over to harrys.com and check out their awesome shaving experience. Don't forget to use the promo code KIPK to save $5 on your first purchase. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.